Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Well, this is a happy day for the foreigner. Because looky who's here. It's our wayward Canadian friend, Jason, who's now out of jail. Well, quarantine anyway. Permission to come aboard? Certainly, sir. So Jason's been in quarantine the last two weeks. Literally. And today, you just got out of quarantine like an hour ago, right? Well, roughly, yeah, a couple hours ago. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. You don't know who that guy is, huh? Somebody needs some clippers. Yes, they do. Watch your step, Jason. Well, there's there's a few now. We do need to do a few repairs. Yeah. Hello, my friend. How are you? How are you? I'm well. See, I, Jason's been in quarantine, so I haven't been able to give him a good hug. It's been a long... <laughs> uh, don't even... You know what? I, uh... When I come to this country, I love it. And, um, stay this time. And so every time I come here, I always have the, the idea that I'm a guest and Two complete weeks of quarantine has really got me at uh, and like reaching out to the medical staff and not getting responses and you don't know what's going on and you, when am I actually allowed to leave? Yeah. And then there was a rumor yesterday that you were going to have to do five more days. Well, technically, and they see us running around without a mask. They 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 ask that we refrain from um, going into areas of like lots of people, right? I wear a face shield, which. You're in Taliban. You're supposed to do that. Yeah. Nobody does. But some, some do. But. Some do. Well, yeah, you're right. And then, and the face mask. So, they, but they, they, they more or less said basically, just don't, you know, don't expose yourself to a bunch of people. So, which is so uh, it does. Being in quarantine for 14 days doesn't really make a difference. That's what they're I've saying. I've had three COVID tests in a, in a fortnight. Yeah. Two weeks. <laughs> and uh, three. And I'm as I have like I, I when I was in Canada I got tested. And so you don't have COVID. Well, you know what? Oh, now that I'm here, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm a, I'm about as negative as get. And it's disappointing to me because like you know, everybody knows now. Everybody knows now that uh, this is a this is a 99.9. Nine. Yeah. And it's a 99.9. Nine, uh, you know the you know, recovery. So what you want is you want to have been exposed to it and have the antibodies, so that you don't have to ever worry about this hitting you at a bad time. So, but I, I like um, the way we do it in Canada. Like everybody knows, socialized medicine. We have a good medical system. Um, but the one of the things they were doing is you weren't allowed to get tested unless you had symptoms. And it was the idea that because if you remember when this all started, everybody was like, you know, remember the two week pause? Yeah. To, Flatten the curve. Hey, 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 everything everything will be fine. Is a good thing to do because yeah. you don't overwhelm well medical facilities. And you got to remember, I mean, we talk about this. They call it the novel. It was a new thing. And if you got to remember, I mean, you remember the videos of people dropping in China and right, and of and course, welding the yeah, doors and yeah. Like, everybody didn't know what the hell was going on. So, anyway, so so the idea was that we have finite resources, and we do and we do socialized medicine. And one of the one of the downfalls of socialized medicine is the fact that uh, you have to actually um, limit the ration of healthcare. So it's one of those things, you know, like, I mean, trust me, I've seen plenty of Michael Moore videos on it. There's lots of Canadians who watch the channel. But there's, there's, no, there's no perfect system. But anyways, where I'm going with that is, so I actually had to pay. I wasn't allowed to do it. But I'm in, I was in British Columbia, and it's, it's very left-wing province. And uh, so I actually kind of had to do a little bit of running around to get to get proper testing. Now I understand that because I didn't want to be dropped, but I was gonna, I was willing to pay for it. But this this I, you know maybe you shouldn't be talking about this. Well, but where, where I'm going with this, I don't even have antibodies, so I haven't been exposed to it ever. And and I've been working, and you know it's it's the thing that gets me is that you, you were tested in Canada, you were tested twice here. You did three times here, so it's four times you've been tested. Well, the ones in Canada, I did it. I did it just to, like, I wasn't going to get on an airplane if I had COVID. Right. You know, I had to test right. myself, and so 
Because <laughs> I'm going right my, back. My point is, is that's the hysteria around this whole thing. It's, You've been tested three times, you don't have COVID, see, and yet they're still telling you I will say this to stay as, away from people. I will say this as a, as a Canadian, so I'm not part of what's happening on November, what's it, November 2nd, when's the, when's the voting? Day? I don't know. Whatever yeah, the first, fourth, the second, the first Tuesday yeah. in November. Yeah. You know, and if this had happened in a non-political, hyper-political period, then there would have been things done differently. Now, every decision is done based purely on politics. Yeah. And it's it's and it's and it's cutthroat and it's one side against the other and it's the blaming and this and that. Well, we've talked to it. We've we've talked about it before. That's one of the reasons I'm in the Philippines, is to get away from the political mess in the Philippines. It's it is hyper partisan. It is hyper partisan. That and that and more than anything else, that's why. Uh, that was my reason, like for wanting to escape the politics, because it doesn't matter which side of the fence you're on. To the other side. You're yeah, like no, you're like unclean. You're an un, you're undesirable. That's, that's what a lot of no one can sit and talk. Of, and no one can have a civil conversation that's true. about their political views anymore. That's true. And it soon goes into name calling, and um, yeah. I mean it it, it it descends into that so quickly anymore that I don't I don't even tell people if I'm a Democrat or a Republican because you're automatically no matter what you say. You're going to a alienate half the people right, on, think, in the I United think your, States. Your, your secret might be out of the bag. But having said that, that is the bigger thing that disappoints. I, 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 I mean, I, that I hope people are most disappointed about is that there are plenty of times. And I mean, I, I've told you the real reason I know so much about the states is I've got a ton of American relatives and, well, I shouldn't say tons, but, um, a fair number. But also, my dad was what they called the snowbird. So we had a place down in Texas. Uh -huh. And they used to go down for the winter because, you know, um, at the time, my dad was in a place called Saskatchewan, which is north of Dakota. Uh, north Dakota, actually. And uh, there's not a whole lot going on in, in January, February. And he was a farmer, so once once he had his harvest in, especially in North in, Dakota, that we were back, and that was back in the there's days. There's more cows in North Dakota, I think, than there is people. Yeah, well, it's the same kind. It's the same kind of yeah. stuff. And, and anyways, what I'm saying is, so I I, I know, and plus I've worked in the states. So what's disappointing is. is Previous days, you're right. That's Hank Cross Street. He's a little Democrat. Oh, that's you know, that's you know, old man Phil. He's you know, staunch Republican. Everybody knew, right? In a small town, they knew. But it was like, and they joked each was, other. You know, and, you'd kid around. You'd that, go to each other's barbecues. Your kids would play exactly, together. Now I'm it's sure like, it's like in the, the 70s, lines are like, so hey, drawn now. Carter. Whoa, you know, how's he doing? Oh, and then oh, your guy Reagan. He's gonna blow up the world. Like, yeah. It was, it was, it was, everybody had their convictions, they had their beliefs, believed them just as much as they did yeah, today. Yeah, but they didn't run around with their hair on fire Well, it was the idea if someone that else they, believed something different. That's just it. Someone could say, you know what, I'm for Carter because, you know what, uh, we got to clear this out and this. Ford and, and you know what, and Watergate, and we got to clean the slate and get rid of corruption. It makes sense to you. Okay. you. Say, I don't like your guy, but it made sense to me. Oh, why Reagan? You know what, uh, the Reagan, because, you know, he... Brought the U.S. back militarily, ended the Cold War, uh, did a lot of amazing things, you know. But you know what? You know, was rough on, you know, uh, welfare reform and stuff like that. And so you'd argue it, but it wasn't like you're the devil. Right. You're right. Like you're, it is now. you're the devil. Yeah. You're the devil. You're the devil. And, it, and it's and it's violent. And that's the other thing. It's violent. And then then there's the uh, what should we call it? Antifa people. Yeah, and, those are nut jobs. So and just we had, we had, we, we, like, the, you might think that's an American thing. We had them up in Vancouver. And wow. Wow. We gotta be careful because this is, like, this is the thing we're talking about not doing this. Yeah. But it's, like, but you know what? It is it, insane. I forget, like, I forget. Like, you talk about indoctrination. Yeah. And rigid, like, I wanna say party because, I mean, they, they you know, they, 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 they do embrace, they do embrace. A hardcore statist philosophy. I forget it's who it a, was. It's, it's just, it's it, it may have been the founder of Walmart. Walmart it might have been Sam Walton, or not. I can't. I can't remember. I, I'm too old and retarded to remember. But he it may. It may have been him that said, "Advertise what you're not." Yeah. So that you can, you know, so you can bring in the customers. You know, you, you, if you if your place is dirty, you go on about how clean it is, right? And Antifa, anti-fascist. You, you can't, you can't be more fascist than Antifa is, I, and yet you call yourself Antifa. Well, I think people—that's that's the thing. Like, you know, labels are used now as like a shield. 
It's like, how can I be wrong? I'm anti-fascist. Even though they behave insanely fascist. Right. They, they, they employ literally police elitist tactics. Now, people are going to read that. And I know, oh, would, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. you wanted the comments I, I, are going to go on The fire. comments are going to go I insane. Be, but. I, I want our channel to grow. I'm here now. <laughs> but I'm just, what I'm saying is, is that labels don't mean anything. Like you just, oh, I'm anti-fascist. I'm anti, anti this. I'm anti that. Yeah. You know, like somehow that means, so that means I'm 100% right. It's, I was going to say something else about another group, which labels don't mean anything anymore. Calling yourself anti-fascist doesn't make you anti-fascist if you behave like a fascist. Your actions define who you are. Exactly. And that's, and that's what you got a, lot of, got a lot of that running around. You do. I mean, I understand the philosophy. How could you, like, it's, it's like one of these things. And it, 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 you know, Mussolini it, was a fascist. And there's a big. He was a true fascist. He was a true fascist. Yes. That's a big difference from the things that he carried out and the things he believed to what the 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 Antifa group practices those policies, but they say one thing and then they do something he, else. He he like one of the, the I mean the, you know one of the commonalities that he had with Hitler like you know, Mussolini's whole idea was the rebirth of the Roman Empire. Right. Right. Until he, until he hung him upside down. And well, yeah, until he literally hung him from a lamppost and stuff like that. And then, you know, I, I mean, here's the classic. You know, we're approaching some real hectic subjects. I, 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 yeah, well, I was I just going to say hello. Word, how, word, how, yeah, did, how are you doing? How, this how did we descend into this? But anyway, yeah, so, I'm just really yeah. glad Jason is here. This is the first time yeah, you better that, <laughs> that Jason has seen the fish bin. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, when Jason left the last time, this was still basically a dry dock. Yes. And in, in, at the San Francisco property, we, we drove around, drove around, we rode around in the boat and saw this area. Yeah. We didn't. There was what you hadn't been anchored. We yet. had the GPS out and we were looking around <laughs> yeah. at things. All that was GPS. And so this is it. Hello, sir. Oh, you never met Tata. Tata. We never uh, shook hands. I think we. You, you never gave Tata a big kiss. <laughs> no, I do that. <laughs> How are you, Jen? I'm really doing But look at the smile on that face, boy. Now Jason's out of jail. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's still fun. It's a great day to be here. I mean, it's not hot. The weather's yeah. perfect. Just a little breeze. We'll go up in a minute and we'll, okay. we'll uh, feed some fish. They haven't been fed. They just finished the harvest. Yeah. I mean, you missed them like 30 minutes. They were just pulling the boat up. Well, out. we didn't, like, we got, I got, we got home around 2-ish, 30, or, and then we had, I hadn't eaten. So we're like, I, I said, I'm not going to go out there. And then it, then it started to rain. Did it rain out here? Oh, yeah, it poured out yeah, here for well, like over an hour. And then we thought, well, no, and then we said, the hell, let's go. Gotta see the place. Gotta see it. So, I, but I, yeah, I was disappointed we missed the harvest. Well, I'm glad you're here. One of, one, I mean, there's many more to go, right? Many more to go. Then oh. I will, I will be honest, I gotta be careful. It's a man, man, but yeah. it, it really does, and like, I gotta be careful. Gabe, we're no Gabriel. 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 Gabriel Sabatini. <laughs> You got your drawers yeah. off for you and your... He's in his skivvies over there. Thank you. And that's, um... What's your name, sir? I, you know, I actually, I actually can't tell you. Where's your oh, tweets? What? Noah. 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 Nice to meet you. Noah. Nice to meet you. Uh, you don't want to meet Joey. I know, it's not. What, Joe? My Sorry, my wife gave you... My Asawa gave me the wrong name. <laughs> nice to meet you, Joe. Noah. Oh, yeah, this is Jason but I, I, this, this, this thing kind of pains me every time I see it. What's that? The, the bridge? The bridge. Like, <laughs> like I mean, like and I actually got into a thing. In, in my defense, I got into a thing. neither Tatai or I had anything to do with that bridge. This is all Gabriel's handiwork. Well, listen, and you know, you know and Gabriel is a great fisherman. That's true. He is world class. He knows his fish. 
business. Carpentry skills? Uh... Yeah, but it's, it's easy to throw stones, and that's not my point. But it's, and listen, when you do engineering, you know the sign of success in engineering? If it works? You, yeah, that's, that's, and so you can't argue with that. The thing is, this was, a, this, this pole was actually standing straight up. I mean, when Gabriel finished it, it actually looked pretty good. But this platform goes up and down. And so we had it roped in here uh, tight, and it pulled it apart the f first day. And so uh, this is kind of uh, his well, kind of repair work. I mean, the big thing is, is, I mean, to be honest, the trickiest thing is the fact that it's a hinge. It's got to pivot because of the fact that it hides. Right. And that is, I mean, that's the way I would have done it, but it's effective. Right, I mean, it's, I mean, it just, it's a pivot. It so works. It hangs and it's round and it, and it rotates around. But, yeah, I, I, there are some things I'd like to work on, but, you know, it's all, you know, and that's, uh, that'll be a conversation off the camera. Budget determines everything. Yes, it does. Because that's, it's like uh, the old line about racing, right? Like, how fast you want to go? How much how money, how much money you want to spend, yep. <laughs> so. I'm going to end this one up. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.